Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of proxies and reverse proxies. Did you know that the market for proxy services is projected to hit a whooping $5 billion by 2025? That's not all. In 2023, businesses using proxies to safeguard their online activities spiked by a remarkable 30% compared to the previous year. Clearly, there's a rising demand for these tools and we are here to unravel the why and how. So, buckle up as we explore the basics, use cases and advantages of proxies and reverse proxies. Let's get started in this video in which we will cover how do proxies work, different types of proxies, what are they used for, advantages of proxy, reverse proxy, what are reverse proxy used for and their advantages and at last we will understand the difference between proxy and reverse proxy. And before commencing, just a quick info for you. If you are aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security, and over a dozen of others. The course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and requires just a bachelor's degree with 50% average. You require no prior programming experience and one plus years of work experience is preferred if you are passionate about making your career in this field. So if you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comments and description box. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start with the first topic, which is how do proxies work? So a proxy server is a crucial element for online security and privacy. Picture it as a mediator between you and the internet. Its role is to mask your IP address and guide your internet traffic on its own. In simple terms, it's like a middleman between you and the internet. When you connect through a proxy, it hides your actual identity, kind of like putting on a digital mask. So instead of your IP address, it uses its own. This not only keeps your online moves on the down low, but also throws a solid defense against any potential cyber mischief or hacking attempts on your device. Think of this way. The proxy is your virtual bodyguard. It takes your internet request, wraps them up in its own identity and sends them out into the online world. This way, your online activities stay incognito and you get an extra layer of protection just like having an personal online security detail. All right, so this was about how do proxies work. After this, the next one on the list is different types of proxies. So let's understand different types of proxies. So proxies come in various types, like forward proxy, reverse proxy, transparent proxy, anonymous proxy, residential proxy. But today, in this video, we will understand about forward proxy and reverse proxy. So forward proxy or just a proxy server is like guard standing in front of your device. It works as a middleman between you and the servers. Imagine it as a checkpoint, your request have to go through this proxy server before reaching their destination. This proxy is there to handle your request, making sure they are okay before they go out. It is like a filter that adds some security and helps things run smoothly. So when you send a request, the forward proxy checks it out first, make sure everything is good before letting it reach the intended place. It's like a helpful traffic manager for your internet connection. So this was about forward proxy. Now coming to the what are forward proxies used for. So let's understand this first. So forward proxies play a crucial role in the internet communication, acting as intermediators between user and the internet. They serve various purposes with different types tailored to specific needs. So first, residential proxies. These proxies derive from internet service providers, that is ISPs and provide users with a virtual clock masking their actual physical location. Users can select a specific geographic location allowing them to appear as if they are browsing from the chosen area. Residential proxies are valuable for tasks requiring region-specific access or testing scenarios that demand specific locations. Alright, so this was about the residential proxies. Next one is data center proxies. Typically employed by enterprises, data center proxies differ from residential proxies as they don't originate from an ISP. Instead, they assign IP address from their own pool or third-party cloud providers. This gives business greater control and flexibility over their proxy infrastructure, making them ideal for large-scale operations. 
All right, so this was about data center proxies. Next one is mobile proxies. So despite the name, mobile proxies don't exclusively serve mobile devices. These proxies use IP addresses from mobile networks, creating dynamic and ever-changing digital footprint. This dynamic nature makes mobile proxies appealing to cyber criminals and scammers, as it complicates efforts to trace their fixed location. Forward proxies, including residential, data center, and mobile proxies, offer users and businesses various tools to enhance privacy, access specific regions, or control their online presence in diverse ways. So these were the uses of forward proxies. Now let's understand advantages of forward proxy. So there are many advantages of forward proxy. Some of them include user privacy. A forward proxy positions itself between a user computer and the public internet, making requests on the user's behalf. This configuration enhances users' privacy by shielding individuals behind the proxy. Then the next one is policy enforcement. By channeling all corporate web traffic through the forward proxy, organizations can scrutinize requests and responses, ensuring the enforcement of corporate security and acceptable use policies. Next one is traffic visibility. So the forward proxy becomes a hub for all web traffic, offering comprehensive insights into how the organization engages with cloud infrastructures, applications, and third-party services. The next one is shadow IT detection. So detection shadow IT instances where devices operate without IT approval becomes possible with a forward proxy. It identifies and tracks unauthorized devices on the corporate network. All right, so next one is web security. So monitoring all web requests made by corporate users' devices, a forward proxy can block access to unauthorized sites and filter out malicious or inappropriate content from responses bolstering web security. All right, next one on the list is data security. So mitigating the risk of inappropriate and unsafe uses of cloud storage and third-party services is achievable through a forward proxy safeguarding corporate data security. All right, the next one is caching. In addition to its primary functions, a forward proxy can cache information, optimizing processing speed for future requests. Then there is real-time security policies. So when paired with a cloud access security broker, that is CASB, a forward proxy installed as software agent on the user device directs traffic to a cloud inspection point. Here, a real-time security policies are applied to establish secure connections with cloud-based resources like SAAS apps and IAAS platforms. Then there is consistent data and threat protection. An adept cloud-based forward proxy ensures uniform data and threat protection across all cloud data channels, simplifying the application of comprehensive policies. So these were the advantages of forward proxy. Now let's understand what is a reverse proxy. So a reverse proxy is typically refers to a service positioned ahead of one or more servers, like a web server. Its role involves accepting requests from clients, seeking resources on the servers. For the client, the reverse proxy behaves as the web server, offering complete transparency to the remote user. A reverse proxy is a server that receives client request, redirects the request to one of several servers, and then sends back the result from the server that handled the request. To the client, it appears as if the reverse proxy itself processed the request, even though it acted as an intermediary. The client interacts solely with the reverse proxy server and remains unaware that a different server executed its request. In essence, the reverse proxy acts as middleman, managing the communication between the client and servers, enhancing security and optimizing server workload distribution. So this was about reverse proxy. Now let's understand what are they used for. So the reverse proxies serve several crucial purposes in the realm of web infrastructure. So first one on the list is load balancing. One of the primary function is distributing incoming requests across multiple servers. This helps optimize server performance and prevents any single server from becoming overwhelmed, ensuring efficient resource utilization. All right, next one is DDoS mitigation. In the realm of security, a reverse proxy is a frontline defense against the distributed denial of services that is 
DDoS attacks by strategically throttling incoming requests. It helps mitigate the impact of malicious attacks, ensuring the stability and availability of services even under adverse conditions. Next one is stable network endpoint. So ensuring a stable client endpoint amid dynamic server instances is another advantage offered by a reverse proxy. In scenarios where servers scale up or down or undergo node failure or repair activities, the reverse proxy maintains a consistent client endpoint. This stability is critical for uninterrupted user experience irrespective of changes in the backend server infrastructure. All right. Next one on the list is server anonymity. So a key utility of reverse proxy is the provision of server anonymity. Acting as an intermediary between clients and servers, the reverse proxy conceals the identity of the backend servers from external users. This protective measure enhances security by limiting direct exposure to potential threats. So a reverse proxy plays a crucial role in optimizing performance, bolstering security and providing additional functionalities that contribute to robust and efficient web infrastructure. So these were the uses of reverse proxy. Now let's have a look at the advantages of reverse proxy. All right, moving on to the advantages. Now, now some of the advantages of reverse proxy are, first one, security. Forward proxy enhances overall security by safeguarding backend servers from direct exposure. Then scalability and flexibility. It offers scalability and flexibility in web applications, allowing for the seamless addition and removal of server based on traffic volume. Forward proxy ensures SSL encryption, fostering secure communication between users and backend servers. Then there is caching. The capability to cache information enables the processing of future requests more efficiently. The next is performance, reliability, and security. Forward proxy contribute to the enhancement of performance, reliability, and security. Then protections from attacks. It serves as a protective barrier preventing websites or services from revealing their IP addresses. Then offloading services. Forward proxy has the capability to offload services from applications, thereby improving overall performance. So these were the advantages of reverse proxy. Now let's have a look and understand the difference between forward proxy and the reverse proxy. So here are the differences between a forward proxy and a reverse proxy. So purpose, first of all, a forward proxy provides anonymity and caching to clients while the reverse proxy improves server performance, load balancing and security. After that, location. A forward proxy is located between the client and the internet while a reverse proxy is located between the internet and the server. Then visibility. The client is aware of forward proxy, but the server is not aware of the reverse proxy. All right, now configuration. The client must be configured to use forward proxy while the server must be configured to use a reverse proxy. Then use cases. Forward proxies are often used for bypassing content filters and accessing restricted content, while reverse proxies are used for load balancing, caching, SSL, offloading, and web application firewall. Now, if we'll talk about examples, Squid and Tor are examples of forward proxies, while Apache are one of the example of reverse proxy. So these were the differences between forward proxy and reverse proxy. To sum it up in this video, we have covered the basics of proxies and reverse proxies. We have explored how regular proxies works and their uses and advantages. Then we switch to reverse proxies, understanding what they are used for and why they are beneficial. We also understood the differences between forward proxies and reverse proxies. And with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.